if you enable geofencing you will also get an option to enable the auto clock in and clock out if you enable auto clock in and clock out your employees will automatically get clocked in the moment they walk into that particular location that you've added in geofencing so they don't even have to remember to clock in and clock out this automatically clocks them in and clocks them out according to the location that they are in and then we have an option to have comp offs. Comp offs are basically uh, when your employees work on a holiday or when they work on a week off. System will credit one extra leave in their leave balance. That's comp off. You can enable it or disable it. Uh, but remember, for your employees to get a comp off credited, they will have to work for a full day without having any anomalies for that given day. Then we have penalty rules, which is very important. This is a very strict feature. This, this comes in very handy to bring in discipline in the organization. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on. So if you turn it on, you will get an option to uh, apply penalty for login, log out, and for the total work duration work for any given day. So in login, uh, you can choose how many days an employee can come be late in a given month. So in this case, I've mentioned it as four. That means my employees can come late for four days in a month. Uh, four late comments will not hamper their attendance. Nothing will happen. No penalty will be imposed. But on the fifth day, fifth late coming in that month will impose a penalty. And that penalty will be half a day of sick leave. And if there is no sick leave balance, directly a half a day salary will be deducted from that employee. You can choose it to be either a half a day or full day depending on their on your policy uh, in my organization we have a policy of deducting half a day leave uh, if there is no leave balance a half a day salary will be deducted so that is why i have half a day as a penalty you can even add casual leave uh, or any other leave type that you have so let me uh, give casual leave as a secondary option and then the tertiary will be uh, the loss of pay or it could be any leave for that matter of fact. So after four late comments, on the fifth late coming, there will be a half a day of sick leave deduction. If there is no sick leave balance, half a day of casual leave deduction. If there is no casual leave, then a half a day of credit leave deduction. This could even be a loss of pay. Then we have penalty intervals. Penalty intervals is nothing but uh, once you exceed the initial uh, late comings allowed, once you get the first penalty in the current month, how many late comings will it take for the system to put another penalty uh, for the current month? So that is three. You can make it as two, you can make it as one, you can make it as five. So basically this means on the fifth late coming there is a penalty. Then there will be an exception for the sixth, seventh and eighth late coming and the ninth late coming will have another penalty. That's what it means. So in the similar fashion, you can create penalties for logout as well and for work duration as well. And we also have an option to allow your employees to clock in from the web. If you disable, uh, you know, the geofencing, the live tracking, the, uh, you know, auto clock in, clock out and everything, you also have an option to allow your employees to clock in from the web itself. That's just a yes or no toggle, so please choose according to your policy. 